Hello everybody, it's Scavenger Scout here, and we are going to be playing yes. more Fallout 3. So what I was thinking is instead of doing any of the DLC just yet, we're going to actually finish up the survival guide for Moira. Because she's been more than helpful this whole time. So, yeah. Let's go over and talk to her. Moira! What did you want? Any luck finding out That's how- That's right. We gotta go to figure out the unlock a door. Try asking around a bit. You never know who's collected a lot of information, do you? Alright, let me sell some stuff real quick. Or we will not sell anything because she's out of caps. The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. Alright. How much am I carrying? Jesus, I am carrying a bit. Let's give this dude the scrap metal. Hey, cool, you're outside. What do you need? Got you scrap. I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Here you go. Take all I got. Well, all right. Let me count out your cap. All right. Take it easy. Well, back to work. Yeah. And then we can drop off those two laser pistols at uh, the outcast. Data. Where it is? There it is. For independence. Get some stem packs from him. You're not involved. Morgan. You want to keep it that way. Hey dude. Well, look who it is. What have you got for us today? Got two laser pistols. Let's see what you've got. Laser pistol? We can always use another one of these. Right. How'd you like your payment? Stem packs, please. Here. Enjoy them in good health. Or at least when you'd like to be in good health. Alright. He has the same dialogue over and over again. It's like, that's why I'm doing this fast. I'm like, he, he just has the same dialogue. Alright. Take it easy. Get a move on. Yeah, got all uh, everything he wants. I got everything I want. How many stem packs are we holding right now? Boop. 158. Eh, I'd feel better at 230. Boopy, boopy. There's a little boopy dub thing up here. Alright. So, we need to go to Rivet City. First. Then, we need to go to the butt end of Rivet City. Sharon! Let's go. We're gonna, we're gonna go talk to somebody. About two things. An android and the ancient... Like, the history of this fucking place. I think I'm gonna have more spaghetti today. Got like 40 bucks left for food, but uh, I don't really feel anything. Maybe I'll buy a lasagna or something. Take that home. I could just throw it into the oven. I don't. I don't feel like making lasagna. Yo, who the fuck? Bow down before my glory. Okay, that's an actual problem. We have a sniper rifle, don't we? Shit, I did something with it. <laughs> this works. There you go. Come on, you big fuck. There you go. Right into his chest. Wow, that was fucking off. Oh, this is the worst gunfight ever. He's so strong. Alright, let's actually go up in here and make sure they've got nobody fucking captive again. They have a tendency to do this. Really don't like leaving people to that kind of fate. That's fucked. Because they throw them into one of the sewers that's just irradiated, hoping that they'll change, I'm guessing. Which is a really fucked up way to do that. Because it's really just winging it. When it comes to science, that's not how you actually... should be trying to turn people like this. 
fucking missed. Ow. Okay, you didn't miss that time. <laughs> Neither did Sharon. <laughs> These restock? Nah. Thank you. I was wondering, I was like, do, do they? I gotta fix my minigun though. That's always nice. 50 plus rounds. Eh. There you go. Hi, Jaren. And we have to go talk to the nice, scary boatman. Do, 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 do. Walking through the waste. I, I got no follow up to that. I was just, that's all the song there. Fucking track one. <laughs> My tummy hurts. Oof. I love the sound it makes. You know, the groans of a ship. Very hard, not for me. Okay, well, fuck you. I thought I could have that one try, and we'd be like, ta da! Gotta poop in my parade. It's like, Shannon! Sharon! I'm gonna call you Shannon. You keep bringing evil like this. Bobby. Oh, is that Sharon I was shooting? Yeah, My bad. Yeah. Sharon, get your goddamn... You need shells, don't you? I don't like the look of this place. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, Trade equipment. Very me. well. He does have a 44 mag now. I'm gonna give him that. Oh, he's got fucking shotgun shells. What are you doing, buddy? Let's go. What are you better with a 44? Is this what you're trying to tell? Get down. Ah. Ow! You hit me, motherfucker. <laughs> we'll shoot him. Yeah. Well, you gotta shoot him. We're leaking a little bit of blood. We're fine though. Fuck this whole flooded out area. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay upstairs. Oh, this looks fun. Pulse mines. Oh shit. I don't need those going off. Disarm that. I love how we get XP for disarming that shit. Oh, that makes me so happy. Come from a land down under. Wheels flow and then thunder. Can't you hear, can't you hear the thunder? Mentats. New cola and money. Oh, scrap metal. I see ya. Bastards. Hey. Give me one second. Alright, there we go. Hello? Oh. Oh. My. Oh, whoa. Sorry, I've never seen this place. I'm like looking around. This is interesting. Hey, hey, hey! How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. <laughs> this is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing, bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um. 
Tell me about the history of Rivet City. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. I hear you're the only one who knows the truth about the city's founding. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. <laughs> Shit, I'm surprised man. any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. Oh, but shit. you can set the record straight. Setting the record straight is exactly my goal. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck. No shit. About 40 years ago. All right. They were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Oh. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. Yeah. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. So you used to be in charge? How'd you end up here? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. Uh. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. Damn, I'm then, sorry. I was glad to leave it behind. Okay. But hell, if I'm leaving the city, I made great. Uh, hey, uh. Do you have any hard evidence of all this? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Fuck Here. yeah. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. <laughs> Fuck Take yeah, them, and cool. we'll put them in their place. Good job, dude. Um, yeah, so, the facial reconstruction with the android, is that you also? What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Let's just say it's in your best interest to tell me what you know. Fine, whatever. <laughs> this android calls himself Harkness now. Okay. Comes in and wants a memory job. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Shit. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. Yeah. The Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. <laughs> I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. Ah. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing, so I could rub it in the face of Doctor Lee <laughs> to rankle her feathers. Good I for hate you, that snooty bitch. Sorry, you don't get along with Doctor Lee, but let's discuss the android, please. That witch ruined my life, but you're right. Who, Who gives, gives a, a crap? crap about any of that? You want your precious proof? Sorry, it's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Ah. Uh, Harkness should be told. You'd want to be told if you were an android. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to have my android army rise up <laughs> against you and your human ilk. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Oh, sorry I couldn't resist. That's awesome. I suppose you're right. But don't worry, I didn't really wipe his memories. I just buried them. Cool. But you can get them back. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet. Cool. That will activate the hidden subroutines. Awesome. Why'd you, um, you know what? Next episode, we're going to ask this dude a whole Don't lot of questions. Don't let your guard down. You guys have a good morning, good evening, or good night. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. Oh, this is a little bathroom house. Um, yeah, this has been Scavenger Scout. Ooh, signing out.